I have five reasons to use Symfony uh, for your next PHP project. And uh, I'm going to be talking about those uh, in just a second. So disclaimer, I'm a Laravel dev as well. I'm also a Magento dev. I'm a Drupal dev. I'm a WordPress dev. I'm basically anything that you can put PHP to dev. Um, but Symfony for me is where it's at. And uh, I so I won't shy away at anything that is um, different, right? In fact, I think if I was to say which one is my overall best framework, it would probably be Slim PHP rather than Symfony because of the fact that you are in total and utter control over all of your dependencies. Now that comes with it. That's a double edged sword because you have to then deal with everything, all the all the problems that that may may face. Um, and I think that Symfony strikes the best middle ground. I would say that Laravel is highly opinionated, which in some cases is, is a good thing, but in others it's it can be quite problematic, especially if you're bundled with a bunch of bits and pieces that you'll never use. And I think that Symfony kind of strikes the middle ground really well. So here are my five reasons to use Symfony for your next project. The first reason is that Symfony has flexible configuration. Symfony can be configured using XML, YAML, PHP objects, PHP arrays, and PHP attributes. This helps with migrations as legacy projects may have some configuration in YAML or XML, which allow the process of rebuilding or reusing existing parts of the project easier to accomplish. Now, I need to give you some context here. Most of the stuff that I've worked on in terms of in my prof prof in the quote unquote professional sense has been migrations, rebuilds, it has been moving from platform A to platform B. It has been how to work on existing legacy code. And there's been an awful lot of code archaeology around how has this system got to this state and trying to introduce maybe through the strangler pattern, a better way of doing things. And I remember one project quite well. We definitely use Symfony as a means of bringing a project into the modern era, <laughs> let's just say. So as configuration can be written in PHP, adapters can also be used to pull settings from external data sources, right? So you could bring settings, I'm not going to use the word configuration, but settings from, say, a database, from an external source, from an API, and then you can configure your application like that. Um, configuration written PHP also benefits from being IDE friendly and falls within the configuration as code approach. So, and I know, I know, I know that other PHP frameworks use use PHP uh, as a means of configuration, but the the beauty that Symfony Symfony has is the fact that it's not just specific to PHP. We can work through XML if we wanted to, or YAML, um, and there are various different ways of configuring P. Um, Symphony through PHP. Okay, the second point is, and and I guess the points after this are kind of centered on this point, to be fair, it is the components. Symphony is broken down into a series of components, which means that the overall Symphony framework is very slimline and light. This gives the developer control to install the dependencies they need that are tailored to the project's requirements. You download Symphony, you don't even get the maker bundle, right? So if you download the skeleton of Symfony, the maker bundle, you have to, you have to re in install yourself because some projects don't even need it. If you've got a very lightweight project, you probably don't need to make things. You know, if you already know how to make a controller, then there's no point in having the maker bundle. But if you're making all sorts of different various files, say entities and roots and controllers and all of that gub gubbins and configuration and bundles and whatnot, then yeah, the maker bundle makes sense. But you don't have to have the maker bundle. You don't have to have Twig. You don't have to have um, Doctrine, right? All of those things are sort of add-ons that you can add to uh, Symfony to make your application as configured and tailored as as you want. There are currently 262 Symfony components I checked earlier uh, that are written in writ written by Symfony developers. These components either make up parts of the core feature set or 
uh, can be installed as add-ons such as Twig and the Maker Bundle, as I've mentioned. All right, so you can you can have a look at these components and you can see which components you want. You can tailor your application to suit your needs better, I think, than uh, other projects that are other frameworks that come at you with bloat and you're like well why have i got all of these packages that i don't need and that becomes a problem when it when you have to start upgrading your stuff right when you have to start upgrading your stuff you have to then look at all of the packages that your stuff requires and if you've got packages that you just don't need and you've never touched and they become conflicted and they become a bottleneck for you to upgrade your systems, then that becomes a chore, right? Whereas with Symfony, because everything is sort of in components and you don't have to have all of the components for Symfony to work, then you can get away with that, right? You can say, well, actually, I just want these dependencies and I care about these dependencies. And actually, some of these components can be swapped in and out, right? Okay, the third point, and this is a bit of a controversial one, but in my opinion, Symfony is unopinionated. Symfony doesn't force certain coding conventions on you like Laravel or CakePHP does. And I don't mean to throw any shade in Laravel or CakePHP's direction. It's just they are opinionated and you could see that as a good thing, right? You could see that as, yeah, okay, it's a massive Swiss army knife of PHP stuff that I want to have for every project. And for me though, when I deal with migrations and rebuilds and upgrades and all of that stuff, I know how much how problematic that becomes when you, you when you've got you, when you're tr treading through the treacle of bloat and you're like, "Well, why why am I having to deal with these package conflicts when we're not actually using those packages?" So this gives the developer control uh, to install the dependencies they need uh, that are tailored to the project's requirements for the, those components. So Symfony doesn't force certain coding conventions on you like Laravel or Cake PHP does. This allows developers to follow best practices and standards that are used within the wider PHP community, right? So we're not saying, oh, this is how we're going to do the roots, or this is how we're going to do um, the controllers, or this is how we're going to do X, Y, Z. We've come to an agreement as PHP developers, as the community of PHP developers, and that is what we're going to do. We're gonna follow the, the community. We're not going to make our own little rules and follow our own little conventions and be on our own, right? This means that we're able to work as, as one, as a PHP community. And it also means that in terms of hiring, getting other developers on board, it means that, uh, well, it means that everybody is used to the same thing, right? It's not like, oh, this is Laravel's way of doing it. or well, this is Cake PHP's way of doing it. This is how PHP should be doing it, right? And so if, if Symfony is following those guidelines, then that's great. The moment it doesn't, and there are cases where it doesn't. The moment it doesn't, that's where I'm. I start to dislike it. <laughs> but there are frameworks, Laravel, for instance, that are more tailored around. This is the way we do it, and this is the way we're going to do it, and uh, we're special because nobody else does it like us. And that's fine if that's where the way you want to go. But because of my background, where I've worked with many frameworks, I prefer to jump from one project to one project knowing that I'm going to be following these fig standards. I'm going to be following these PSR guides. I'm going to be following, you know, the, the flow of P the PHP community rather than I'm shoehorning myself into this sort of pigeonhole of, of, of Laravel. Um, that's just me, but I'm sh I mean, I mean, I'm sure there's Laravel developers who um, would dislike me saying this, right? that's fine if that's what they want to do that's cool <clears throat> no uh, no shade thrown the number four is twig twig is one of the best php templating engines out there in my opinion it is incredible um and of course it's optional you download symphony you don't get twig you you know if you get the skeleton you don't get twig because some places don't need it. Some projects don't need it. If you're just creating an API, what's the point in having Twig? You know, you're not gonna have any HTML, are you? It's gonna be JSON. Um, so you would install that as a separate component. Again, going back to components. 
Um, so Twig is an optional component that a PHP developer can install and to create flexible templates. Twig can also be extended with custom filters and functions. And as Twig is a component, it can be used in other frameworks and PHP projects such as SlimPHP or other things, right? You could be using Twig within WordPress. You could be using Twig within all sorts of other frameworks. It's not just Symfony. Um, and that is something that I really like Symfony. It's like, this is a component that isn't just for our framework, isn't just for our little world. It's also something that everybody can use within the PHP community. And I think that is, it is so empowering from an open source point of view that that is fantastic. The last point is, which kind of follows on with that, is that Symfony works well with others. So in my in my experience, I've worked on Drupal sites that have Symfony. I've worked with Magento sites that have Symfony. I've worked with Yi sites that have Symfony. I've worked with uh, Concrete 5 sites that have Symfony. <laughs> Whereas with the Laravel stuff, I've worked with Laravel projects that just have Laravel. Uh, there hasn't really been any kind of secondary need of the knowledge of Symfony because we're not using the Symfony packages, we're using the Laravel stuff and that's the way it, we're doing it and that's the decision made. Um, whereas some other projects that I've been on, it's been like, we would like you to know Drupal, but we also want you to know Symfony. <laughs> and we want you to know Magento, but we also want you to know Symfony. And I'm, you know, th uh, this is, this is so common with Symfony. Symfony is uh, used as a kind of um, a sidecar for other projects. If you want to create a, a, a quick little microservice, then usually, in my experience, it's done with Symfony. And this is where I, you know, the migrations and the rebuilds and the upgrades come in. It's like we've got this small little thing, it's Symfony based. You know, can you come on and upgrade it? And also, a lot of the pro a lot of the frameworks, Drupal, for example, use Symfony components, and Yi and and Concrete Five use Symfony components. So, from a hiring point of view, it is fantastic because if you can say, "Hey, I'm being a Symfony developer for over ten years," um, you're really appealing because, yeah, okay, Cake PHP, um, not Cake PHP, sorry, Concrete Five, and um, what's the other one, Drupal. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you need those kind of that knowledge, but the 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 nugget, the golden nugget here is actually knowing the Symphony components and being aware of what you can do with, the, say, the HTTP Foundation stuff, knowing what you can do with Twig, knowing what you can do with the Symphony session stuff. So yeah, and and if you can say that you've worked on projects that have those components, then you become more of just a Drupal developer, or you're more than just a Concrete 5, or a replace blank with framework developer, right? You become something that is a developer that can actually work in in sort of the custom space, if, if you will. So Symfony components are used in other frameworks and PHP projects. A developer may wish to use the HTTP foundation component with other frameworks. Uh, this is also possible by installing the components as dependencies and writing custom adapters which follow the PHP standards. Often you will see jobs asking for a Drupal developer who has Symfony experience. This has made finding PHP developers easier as the components are shared across multiple frameworks. And uh, th that is basically the crutch as to why I think Symfony is fantastic because it is producing these components that are shared across frameworks and they do it in a way that is, they're not being a, a dick about it. It's, they're just saying like, here's the component and you can use it with Symfony or you, you don't have to. That is why I like Slim PHP. You have control over the, the packages that, uh, that you use in your project. Anyway, I, what I'll do is I'll leave links to resources for, for things like Twig and the components and Symfony documentation and whatnot. But I would be interested to hear what you guys think. If uh, if you're a Symphony dev and you're feel totally feeling this list, and and you're uh, yeah, let me know. Like, or if there's anything else, if there's any other killer features that you think Symphony provides that other frameworks don't, or if you completely and utterly disagree with me, um, and you think that actually Laravel is the king and will be the king and will always be the king. Um, then that's fine. One thing I will say about Laravel though, because I do know that there is a lot of Laravel love out there and yeah, okay, I'm, I, I also 
uh, like Laravel. Um, not as much as Symfony, but I like Laravel too. Laravel has its own ecosystem. And so with, with Laravel's ecosystem, everything works well with Laravel, obviously, because it's an ecosystem. Think of it like the Apple ecosystem, where every Apple product works well with other Apple products, and they actually get better the more you're embedded in the ecosystem. So Laravel has its own ecosystem. And if you really want to knuckle down and learn Laravel and become like a, a just a Laravel developer and nothing else... Right, so you're not interested in Symfony, you're not interested in Cake PHP, you're not interested in any other frameworks, then I highly recommend you look at the ecosystem and the other things that you can do with Laravel and really start becoming, say, a Laravel consultant. 